New tonight at six violence and gangs in the spotlight after a deadly drive by over the weekend. 14 year old Jada Jones was killed when two suspects pulled up to her friend's house and started shooting. The Chester County Sheriff saying the teen was an innocent bystander and the victim of gang violence and her death could be just the beginning. The Sheriff's Office understaffed and having a hard time combating the gang problem and it's not just Chester County. It's happening all over the Carolinas. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes joining us now. Tanya, a dire warning from law enforcement. The sheriff showed us these pictures mug shots of the men he says are responsible for the death of that 14 year old. Both he says are gang members, gangs, a growing problem in that community and in neighborhoods. Now we're learning that might surprise you. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jay Fo. 14 year old Jada Jones hanging with the wrong crowd when she was shot in a drive by this week. Chester Sheriff's deputies calling her the latest victim to gang violence. The gangs are definitely here and things are starting to escalate again. Even young Jada herself posting on social media about the notorious blood gang. We've been hearing a little bit about her being involved with the gang affiliation. Sheriff Alex Underwood says the problem is just going to get worse if he doesn't get resources fast. I only have four, four deputies patrolling 580 square miles. That's ridiculous. We're seeing departments across our area having to rely on the FBI to help them crack down and round up known gang members. Agents say the problem hitting every corner of the Carolinas. Gangs lurking in urban communities like Charlotte and rural ones like Cleveland and Chester counties. We know that gang membership is once again on the rise and so is the related violence that goes with it. This time the violence taking a young girl's life. The woman who watched Jada die worries her family could be next. That could have been me. That could have been anybody that got hit by that bullet. A bullet doesn't have a name on it. Meanwhile, in Chester, they're even looking into the possibility of a hit list where there are people who have bounties on their heads right now. The sheriff says he's trying to figure out who is on the list and who put it out to start with. I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.